and yes people welcome back to ed hunts we are back again at the excel center and we are here for comic con oh wow see you later hey man how you doing yeah man nice toys thank you we're making everything oh sweet packaging everything that's pretty cool man it's all making our packaging Wrexham? Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. guess, eh? What the last guess? <laughs> Literally guessed. It's the only place in North, uh, North Wales I know, so. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not done looking yet, so yeah, yeah. Um, Lenny, yeah, that, is absolute, earlier, that is that is amazing. Yeah, that so is one good. of the best I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, that is sick. Look at that. Look at that. That's um. That is sick. That is awesome. Really good. Finally, all the tools, Scoot. Yes, well, yes, yes, brother. Right, what yes, we yes. offer? What we offer today? Now we inside. Maybe a bit of sniz, bit of Mega Drive. <laughs> see how it goes. Yeah. It's come with come. <laughs> The IPS back lit thing with the ice, so that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
only one I've sold, I agree. You going in? To the point of these, are they? <laughs> I've never seen, I haven't seen any Mortal Kombat, man. It's one of the Mortal Kombat figures that's not a Funko Pop. This store was really, really busy earlier. Really busy. MCM London Comic Con and uh, got to say it was quite a good event um, had a good time I was only there for about three to four hours and uh, for a comic con that's about right for me personally some I mean, I mean the last one in 2019 uh, the one in October I've got to say was possibly the best comic con I've ever been to in my life I went there dressed as Beetlejuice I'll put a picture up of that now But this year, uh, we didn't go in Fancy Dress. Obviously, doing the channel, you know, going hunting, stuff like that. So, um, there was a lot more stalls than there was at EGX. I don't really want to try and compare EGX and Comic Con too much. I mean, they were literally two weeks apart and exactly the same venue. So, it is hard to kind of distance myself from um, uh, differences. But, on the whole, Comic Con was a lot better. Um, I managed to get in obviously through the creator um, uh, pass the creator queue and it was very very simple for me to get in so uh, but yeah this queue was really tight so like yeah it, and it did seem like everyone had a decent time I know there was a few people online saying they didn't have the best time it wasn't like other years but to be fair to Comic Con I think they actually did a pretty good job this time so yeah I had a good time and managed to get some pretty good bits and bobs but yeah, saw some awesome comic cosplay as well. I think probably the highlight for me was um, Lenny from uh, The Simpsons. Um, he was going around, he had a little like voice um, like thing in his hand, and he was just um, doing all of like Lenny's phrases as he was going around. There was, if you can, if you like, uh, rewind a little bit on the edit um, on the video, sorry, uh, you'll see um, you'll hear Daniel Plan just like just randomly being said at one point. Uh, that was fantastic. I've got a little bit of him on camera as well, and then obviously saw Ghost Rider as well, who so I've got like a, a nice shot of as well. So let's go through my pickups. Um, I'm going to start with the one figurine that I bought because I only bought one. Um, obviously, you saw there was a lot there. I was looking for Mortal Kombat figurines, like the kind of the new McFarlane ones, like Mortal Kombat 11. I've seen like a Cabal one, which is really cool. I've seen some of the, I saw a Kitano one that I really liked online as well, but they had none. The whole of Comic Con. I didn't see one of those. All I saw was Mortal Kombat Funko Pops, which was like not what I want. Do you know what I mean? I just don't. And I've got plenty of Mortal Kombat Funko Pops. I'm sure everybody's got plenty of Funko Pops nowadays, and that was just it was just inundated with that. You know, I would have liked to have seen like, you know, some Mortal Kombat, maybe some Castlevania as I was no Castlevania there, but yeah, let's get some pickups anyway. So first one is it. <laughs> It looks a little bit like a Funko Pop, but it's not. It's called an E-Keys, and this is Tommy Pickles from Rugrats. 
Now this it says 25 quid in it, it wasn't 25 pounds, it was five pounds. Uh, it was from a couple of ladies that were set who said they were selling off their collection. They had a lot of Funko Pops, a lot of this, a lot of these E-keys as well. They had a few other bits and bobs. But I thought it could look quite interesting. It's in it's, it's in a plastic protector. They had like a little shelf that was just everything was a fiver. So I decided to pick this up. I mean, it looks like it's made out of wood. You know, what I mean, like you know, Tommy does look a bit weird in this. But I, I mean, that's what drew me to it. You know, I just thought it was a bit of an oddity. And for five pounds, I thought, yeah, it looks cool. So that's the only figurine that I bought. So let's get on to the games. So of the three game stores that were there, I think one was called um, Richie Rich Collectibles. I think. He has some cool games, and I'll show you what I bought of him first. Um, I managed to strike a little deal with him as well, so that's cool. So you will have seen me get um, Green Dog, uh, the beach surfer dude, on the Mega Drive. Now, this is a quite a clunky platformer. Um, it's complete. Uh, it's really nice condition, actually. Um, when I say clunky, he just jumps really weird, and like sometimes you feel it's one of those games where you're just like, where the hell am I meant to go? Do you know what I mean? Like, and I can't, we got, kind of got stuck in a few spots where we just didn't know where to go. Just, like you just walk forward and you just hit a brick wall and just like, where do I go? But um, no, it's an interesting platform, and hopefully I will be able to get through it at some point. As I said, I've already given it a go. Uh, but yeah, so it says twelve pounds on there, but this was technically ten because I also bought from Richie Richie's Collectibles out to lunch on the Super Nintendo. Now this is boxed, uh, it is not complete. It does not have its instructions. However, it does have, uh, and um, Rich, the guy who had the stall, um, big up yourself, thank you very much for the deal. Uh, he said to me that the poster inside the box is extremely rare. And I believe him because I looked it up online and there's no one who's got a box like in this good condition anyway for out to lunch and uh, this poster, which I will show you because I think it's quite a cool, cool poster. Let's hope I don't rip it like I did in the very early episode when I was trying to show a, a poster. No, nope. oh, God, that's actually really nice. Look at that. Look at that poster. That is awesome, isn't it? Pierre Le Chef, out to lunch. Um, it's like it's like a platform puzzle, platform puzzle game. Um, I have played it. Uh, it's very very simple to pick up and play. It actually did take me like one or two playthroughs of the first level to kind of work out what to do but once you've worked out what to do it's pretty simple and um yeah there's quite a few levels you go through go around a lot of different countries and basically your aim is to catch food uh because pierre's ingredients have scarpered and it's up to you to recover it so yeah 25 pounds for a nice boxed mint snes game that is unusual like i've never seen this loose or otherwise you know so I'd like to get it for 25 pounds at a convention super happy so this is like a great pickup i'm really really happy with that so there was a couple of other uh video gaming stores there as well there was two others i remember talking to uh scott's comments and collectibles that he he put out a video um a few days ago if you want to go check out his video i'll leave a link in the description below because his is a lot longer than mine his is a lot more like in depth he goes around a lot more of the stalls and he told me there's only two video game stores when he told me that i was a bit disappointed but when i got there uh we found three so um so from the second video game store, now this, when I initially got there, it was like a father and son, and I got off him gods for £10, and this is when the father was still there as well. Uh, this is complete. I didn't get no deal on this, this was £10. Uh, I haven't played this, but it looks like um, it looks like a platformer, it looks quite cool as well. So I saw this on another store for 25 so to get it for 10 I was quite happy with that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's all right condition. I mean, me and Charlton were actually saying, like, why do people, like, cut off these hang tabs? Like, why? Just leave them, you know? Like, people used to cut them off all the time, and, you know, bus collectors, we don't like to see that, but, you know, it is what it is. £10, it is complete. And they also had, and I also bought off them, uh, Bio Freaks on the N64. Now, this is, this is £18. Now, this is a game that I've never actually owned or played. I believe it is a beat em up. It was one of those games that, like, um, I was talking to uh, Jappo about this, my music producer, and because uh, we, we both had the N64s growing up. And it was one of those games that we used to see and just used to kind of avoid because obviously, like, there was just much better beat em ups at the time on the N64. But again, I've never owned it, so I wanted to add it to the collection, and it was a reasonable price, and it is complete. Um, so I was happy with that. So, yeah, Bio Freaks. Now the reason why I said it's a father and son um, store was because the father went off somewhere, I think he went for a walk, and Chomsky was trying to do a deal for um, Slaughterhouse 2 on the Mega Drive, and, or, no, is it, is it Slaughterhouse? 
something like that anyway and um another game as well and the guy just wouldn't bend on the price i think collectively it was 115 he was trying to get for 105 wouldn't bend on it and you know it's hard to do deals with the person who's still with it you know actually you know it was his son you know it was his dad's store in it so he couldn't do the deal but it was just unfortunate that you know Charlesky just he timed it all wrong you know just try, uh, asking for it at the wrong time and i felt for him because like you know those were some really cool games it's you know it's really hard to find um slaughterhouse I'm sure i got that name wrong um like out in the world so yeah i feel for him there but yeah i've got a few more games as well uh, and this is from like the third video game store that we found so the first one i got was pokemon x and that says 25 bobo for 20. Um, I have owned this before, um, I really like Pokemon X, I like the Mega Evolution aspect of this game, uh, they, they, they took it out in subsequent titles and it really annoyed me, like, I, I always, like, Mega Evolution was kind of like my favourite kind of addition to like the normal kind of play for a Pokemon, I don't really like this Dynamaxing thing, I mean like, because I play a lot of uh, Pokemon Showdown online, so like, I've kind of learned how to use the Dynamaxing, but I always did prefer um, the, the what you did in, in this so got this for 20 um i don't actually have it in my collection um i used to have it and i sold it on well before i started collecting so i'm glad to re-add it to my collection and i will be playing this through at some stage because i absolutely love pokemon playthroughs so that's awesome and the last game i got i actually got for uh my friend courtney but uh she said she's already got it which is a shame so uh it's the jungle book uh party and i know she's a bit of a, a keen ps1 collector uh, so that's the reason why I've got it, so it's going to be added to my collection instead, and I'll get her something else. Um, but yeah, it's complete, it's all there. Oh, by the oh, oh god, didn't realise the case was that bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's all there, and it's done. So, yeah, on the whole, I would say Comic Con, um, you know, given the circumstances, um, was actually quite good. Um, there was a few empty spaces there, but give them a pass on that because I thought they did actually put on a pretty good show and um there was some you know some awesome cosplays there as well and um yeah like overall not bad let's just hope the next one they can bring back people like bandai namco they can you know playstation might come back nintendo might come back you know some of the big companies might come back to these events and you know deliver them you know so yeah thanks for watching um drop a like and consider subscribing below if you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next one